Hundreds of people laced up their running shoes and took part in a 5K, supporting those who put their lives on the line daily to protect and serve. The annual Blessed Are Peace Peacemakers 5K raises money for a bulletproof vest for law enforcement officers and WCBI's Alan Martin took part in the run and he brings us the story from the course. Before this 5K begins, a procession of blue lights honors the memory of those who paid the ultimate price, protecting and serving. We had three officers in the, uh, represented in the fallen officer line this morning, so, uh, you know, that's, that's never a good thing, but uh, to, to remember their names and to keep putting this on and keep putting that out there is a great thing, and we're just glad to be a part of it every year. More than 360 runners took part in this year's Blessed Are the Peacemakers 5K. The event is hosted by Wives of Warriors, a support group for spouses of law enforcement officers. The 5K is a way to help make sure officers come home to their families at the end of each shift. Proceeds purchase body armor for officers throughout the region. It means a lot. That means my husband and all of our husbands can come home safe to us and our children every night. Runners and sponsors say they're honored to help those who keep our community safe. And I just think it's important that uh, we know how much of a heart that they have, and that's why we do this run, to make sure that they're protected, make sure that their families are supported. I think that's the biggest thing, is making sure that they get that support that they deserve and they need daily. I grew up in a law enforcement um, family, and my dad's a retired game and fish officer. And um, actually, John Collum is a distant, distant cousin of mine who passed away in Game of Fish a few years ago. And um, I just really think it's really important to, um, to support law enforcement and to support um, this cause of giving vests to uh, our local law enforcement in this fundraiser. And for the second year in a row, a friendly competition took place between the Lee County Sheriff's Office and Tupelo Police Department to see which agency could sign up the most runners. And last year, the Sheriff's Department won. Uh, Chief Quaka had to wear the Mississippi State attire. And this year, uh, the wager on the table was he would drive our work center bus or I would wash cars. So we're awaiting the results, but I think we've done it again and I'm getting the bus washed for him to drive this next week. Chief Quaka will need to set aside some time this coming week to drive the work center bus. Lee County Sheriff's Office had the largest team two years running. Telling your story in Tupelo, Allie Martin, WCBI News. This summer and the vest should be delivered in the fall.